ras de farine, ras yadinos te farine. I am Wendem Yadon. We want to explore just for a few, just just as a basic, something called and known as the shoe bread or the cone shaped shoe bread. Now, if you look this up, cone shoe bread, or what's known as the show bread, the bread of the presence, and it's connected with the ancient. Beta Israel and the ancient Israelitish sacrament. Now, in this present time, we have been able to recover much of the half of the story that has been told and, and suppressed for many ages that connects the Kana or the Kana Bosom that, that, that brings together now the ancient Hebraic roots with the revelation of Rastafari or the Kana Bosom, the cannabis or what's known as the Marijuana or the Mary Jane, also is called the Mary Jane and that's linked with the Mary and John. Now Mary and John is a particular very interesting scriptural symbolic type. Now if you recall, and it's in the scriptures, New Testament of the Bible, that when Gitachin Adunen, our Lord, our Master, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christ, or Jesus Christos, when he was crucified, the witness, among the witnesses to that crucifixion, was his mother, Kedis Den Gumarim, as well as that disciple named Johannes or John. Now this is interesting because when Christ was crucified, he turned to Mary and John and he said to his mother, Kittisden Gulmarium, woman, behold your son. And what's interesting is that the Bible says that from that very day, from that very day, that Johannes the writer of the Gospel of John, as well as John, who is known as John the Revelator, the one to whom revelations in the Bible was revealed, that he took her, the Savior's mother, our black Lord's mother, Kedistin Gomarium, the Virgin Mary, home, he took her home, in other words, he took her as his own mother. Now, some would say, well, you're, you're reading into that, that, quote, historical aspect. You're reading into something parabolic, mystical, metaphysical, or even spiritual. But that was just Christ on the cross saying to his disciple, his, his, his number one, we can say, because remember that Johannes or John, John the Revelator, distinct from John the Baptist, don't make a mistake about it, there were many Johannes's or Johns, but the John that we're speaking about, or Johannes, is known as Johannes or John the Revelator, the revealer of Revelation, the writer of the book of Revelation, as well as the writer of that Gnostic or mystical, most spiritual of Gospels, the fourth Gospel that's known as the Gospel of St. John. So some would say that our interpretation that Mary and John going home together and the signification that our Savior, our Lord, on the cross made when he said, woman, behold your son, and he took her home from that very day, from that very hour. He took her as his own mother. He took care of the Savior's mother. Once could read that literal, in other words, that, that literal, direct, what they call the plain interpretation right there. But at the same time, one must remember the nature of the New Testament 
and in particular the nature of the Moshiach's ministry, how he used earthly types for those who could receive or be able to Kabbalah, Kabbalah, the spiritual aspect. So he, as he said, Christ said that if you do not understand the earthly, you understand? In other words, if you can't understand the earthly, how would you be able to understand the heavenly? So he was utilizing earthly types, symbols, even parables to explain deeper spiritual, we could say even metaphysical. He was using the physical to explain the metaphysical. And this is one of the reasons why often you will find in the sayings of our black Lord, you will hear him say, if you can receive it, if you can receive it. Now, when you look at that word Kabbalah or Kabbalah or Kabbalah, the correct pronunciation would be Kabbalah. That means to receive. But what kind of reception is this? It is not the plain, the Peshat reception, but it is a metaphysical, it is a spiritual it is a mystical reception. Now, that brings us once again to the particular subject matter of this post and of this brief reasoning concerning the conical shoe bread and the shoe bread and the offering as it's connected with the, the holy offering of the bread of the presence, which in Rastafari revelation we call the lamb's bread the lamb's bread connected with the kane bosom, which some say is the is one of the elements that was used in the mosaic anointing oil. And some even connect that with the, the incense or the aishans, the aishans offering. Now it's interesting because this all of these all of these um parts and pieces and, and different elements, when we look at them in the context of the scriptures and recognize the revelation that we have of what is the Kana Bos or the Kana Bosom today, what is the Mari Juan or the Mary Jane or the Mariam Johannes and what is that particular herb and how that herb is used for spiritual, metaphysical, and even transcendent purposes for those who are able, and here's the key, for those who are able to Kabbalah or Kabbalah, for those who are able to receive it. So we're just laying some of these elements, um, presenting them, and we're going to get into more of the point for point of, of each of these elements, but this is just to open up this particular reasoning on the cone-shaped or the conical shoe bread, because as we now go and reflect on ancient Egypt and some of the symbology that we find within the hieroglyphs or within the holy or sacred writings, and we put those connections with the with Moses, who was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, as well as with Solomon, and we begin to follow it from the Old Testament using ancient Egypt now as as the context, the frame of reference. You see, in order to understand or really to overstand the Bible, one must use the author's frame of reference and the author of the Old Testament or the first five books of the Bible is the lawgiver Moses or Moshe. And scripture says that he was learned in all of the wisdom of the Egypts or in your translation the Egyptians, but more correctly he was learned in all the wisdom of the Egypts because there was more than one Egypt. And it goes on to say that he was a man who was mighty in not just word, and not just the word of it, or the so-called literal, 
but also in deed, but also in the metaphysical act or the metaphysical application. And here we will pause for the cause and come forward with a little bit more seeking to demonstrate this point concerning the Ghana balsam, the shoe bread, the holy offering, the marijuana or Mary and John or the herb of Mary and John and its holy usages as well as then connected with well the fight that this herb and the persecution that those who are able to properly utilize it for spiritual and even holistic or health medical purposes have gotten and continue to get even to this very day, hour, and moment. So, stay tuned. More to come. Yah willing. Shalom. Ras Tafari. <laughs>